<laughs> Where's your gaffer tape? Right, and it goes a little, little bit like this. I won't keep it too long. I said, basically, since we got, I was too young to get in the punt. Of course, I was well aware of it and the change it had brought my brow. I loved some of the bands, I went to see a lot of them. The Clash, the Dam, the Buzzcuts, who looked more mod than punk anyway. And, this, and that fellow from the caravan site, the three big band who called the Jam, who clearly was mod, well he was anyway. We loved pub rock bands, but it wasn't really a scene you could call your own. Not that we were even looking for one. We loved the tatty old bruisers and most of the scruffy old bar bands, but couldn't connect or identify with them style-wise. The punks had their own bands, and even their own clubs. The Teds had their bands, but we, all we had was long haired beardy geezers in pub bands. Neither of those areas were exceptions to, to the rule. They looked like us and drank with us. I never thought it would be any different, but that was all about to change. And within less than a year, I'd be slap bang in the middle of a whole new music and social phenomena. Where's me money when I mean? Just can't give it sort of stuff when I can't use it. <laughs> Billy Hassett had come into the pub to ask for a gig for his band he'd formed at school with his cousin Martin Mason. Billy was obviously a mug and was wearing a partner with authentic US army stripes and a little US, a little yellow flame headed SO man keychain. Nods of recognition were nodded, hands were shook, light hours were pulled, and a lifelong friendship was struck. Billy told us of his. Of his band that was called the Detos at the time, homage to the early hood, and had yet to play live, and they were fully rehearsed and match fit. I introduced Bill to the Beckett, some of the Beckett's no-nonsense landlords, and he booked them for the following week. No demo, no demo cassette required and no fee offered. Over a few more drinks, I found out Bill lived in one of the tower blocks in Deptford, and his lead guitar player was a moody punk type called Chris Pope. They had a drummer called Paul Halpin, but by the sound of it, he wasn't intending to be staying around for too long. Billy said they were playing their debut gig at the Deptford Arms Club the following week and invited me along. In between that first meeting and that gig, I remember sitting on the top, of the top deck of the number one bus that one run through Bermondsey. We only had one bus that run through Bermondsey. <laughs> when Bill, Bill went to the new name of the Corps, his move. Like all band names, when, when you hear them for the first time, they don't instantly click, and to these years, the cause was no exception. However, it stuck, and sure enough, the band played their first gig under the new identity, the cause. I know it's a cliche.